Claudio Martini, how I hear it. All right, today I got a special treat. I'm gonna give you an insight on my test equipment and the equipment that I listen to for pleasure down in my sound room. This is the equipment that I do all my reviews and once every month or so, every other month, I've got friends that bring audio gear over here and we sit around, shoot the shit and listen to it. Things that I really personally like and I like the sound, I'll review it. If I don't like it, I don't like making negative reviews, someone else may like it. So I promised you I was gonna make a review on the Techniques SL1200GR, and that's this table right here, okay? I like it, it's very nice, but I'm not ready for the review because I wanna put a couple of different cartridges, try out some different cables, and then it's gonna be up down the road. I apologize, it's gonna probably be in the next month or next couple of months. I've just been really busy. All right, so I'm gonna give you a rundown on what I'm running down here. All right, so over here, Bryston, Bryston, 4B NRB, 4B NRB. It's in, that's one of the amps that I have in my YouTube review. You can read the review on it. You can get a close up of it. Uh, Bryson 4B NRB. Next up is Tice, Tice, Tice Power Block Signature Series. It is a filter, it filters out bad uh, electricity. These are, they, this was a company back, back in the 90s, Tice uh, Electronics. The guy made incredible uh, uh, power conditioning units and also made some power cords and cable. As a matter of fact, I'm actually running one of his power cords. All right, Tice Signature Series. Next up, we have Bryston BP26 preamp. BP26 preamp. Very nice preamp. After that, we have the Bryston D to A converter one, the, the first one they made. Now, they do have a two and a three out there. The three is the latest, you, the, th the two has been discontinued. But to be personally honest with you, I like the sound of the one. It's incredible. It's, it seems a little bit more dynamic than the other ones. I could be wrong, but, uh, and I don't do, I don't do a uh, high res, so that's plenty for me. Next up is this, this I bought brand new. This is a JVC. Let me get the dang model number. It's such a long model number. That is the JVC-Z1050TN CD player. That CD player sold for $800 back in 1992. I bought it back in 92, and the thing has never, I've played a lot of CDs, never skipped, nothing, and the thing weighs like 24 pounds. It's a beast. It's a, it's a phenomenal CD player. I use it as a transport and also as a CD player. Next up, up here, Kenwood KT8300. Kenwood KT8300. The next one I think above that was the, what was it? The, the 900 series or something like that. And that was like a $1,200 tuner. That's a 19, uh, I think 1977, 1978 tuner. I believe, I could be wrong, it sold for $650, $700. Again, a lot of money. That tuner, phenomenal tuner, okay? And then lastly, La Stella's. 1980s La Stella's. I bought these from the original owner about 30 years ago. Yeah, I'd say about 30 years ago. I bought them from the original owner and uh, he said they were too big and I loved horns, so I couldn't resist. I snagged them, got a good deal on them. And these, the, the Clips Lascalis right now, they're going for 14,000 or 15,000, the new Lascalis. And uh, these, personally, I like these. They're made out of uh, marine plywood, I believe. They're plywood, the new, the new models are all, uh, uh, what do they call that? Press board, you know? So, and these, are metal horns. The new ones are all plastic. These are actual metal. All right, so that's it. That's the system. That's what I, and, oh, and cabling. The speakers are running 
and those cables are also in my review. They're running Pine Tree Kinetics speaker cables. That's what's hooked up to them right now. I've tried some different cables, but these things are phenomenal cables. I really like them. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna let you listen to it. And I know that it's not gonna be the quality coming through YouTube and my mic is not that great, but it'll give you kind of an idea. I'll try some different tunes and hopefully you'll get an idea of how it sounds. But believe me, if you're here, it's mind blowing. It sounds incredible. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll try some music.
right, let's try one more from Milano Lounge. I'm going to tell you, the most awesome thing is during the day after a hard workout, I chill out, have a little bit of something to eat, and I come down here in the evenings in my sound room here, and I tell you what, it just I just chill out, listen to music. I got about, I'd say almost 2,000 CDs and about 800, 900 LPs. And I just sit, I'm, I'm a music fanatic. I love music of all genres. I love jazz, uh, rock, uh, uh, classical jazz, I got it all. So that's kind of my hobby. I've been doing this audiophile stuff since I was 12 years old. I fell in love with the gear, I fell in love with the music, and ever since I've been hooked. So there you have it. Claudio Martini on How I Hear It. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to this channel, and I'll try to get more of these videos out if time lets me. Take care, talk to you soon.